Welcome back to Imagination Station. I can't wait to see what amazing things we'll discover today. So to start our time together, I have a question for you. Who remembered their imagination today? Looks like lots of people forgot. Well, that's okay, it's only day two. I thought some people might forget, so I talked to my friend Ava for ideas. I think you met Ava, the red-tailed hawk? Anyway, Ava told me something incredible. God is so imaginative that he created red-tailed hawks with a unique one-of-a-kind creative call. Let's close our eyes and imagine we're red-tailed hawks on the top of a big, beautiful mountain, and we're about to take flight. Everybody, close your eyes. All right, open your eyes. That was so cool. Ava has an amazing call. Now that our imaginations have taken flight, let's move on. Red-tailed hawks have great eyesight. But can they see colors? Or can they only see black and white? Think about your answer. Okay, let's make a drum roll so I can reveal the amazing answer. And the answer is... Red-tailed hawks can see colors! In fact, they can see more colors than humans can. Imagine that! Well, I can see that your brains are bubbling with imagination. So let's see what we can discover about those bodacious things called bubbles. Just look at these bouncy bubbles. Aren't they cool? They float, they fly, and they even have colors inside. Bubbles make me happy because they remind me of hope. Hope lifts my spirit like bubbles lift into the air. And bubbles are beautiful, just like the hope we have in Jesus is beautiful. Today, every time you see a bubble, remember that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus! Did you know bubbles are actually made from a layer of water between two layers of soap film, like a soap sandwich? No matter how a bubble starts out, if you leave it alone, it will always form a sphere, a perfectly round shape. Does anyone know why bubbles always form spheres? A bubble wants to be a sphere because that shape has the least amount of surface tension of all possible shapes, cubes and pyramids. A sphere has the smallest amount of outside area. That's why bubbles all want to be round. Imagine that! You know, today's sciency fun gizmo includes a couple of spheres, but they won't burst like bubbles. I can't wait to show you! Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus! I don't know about you, but I really need the hope that Jesus gives us. Like we just saw, bubbles rise into the air when we blow into the bubble solution. Today's sciency fun gizmo kind of reminds me of bubbles, but it's way more fun. This, my friends, is called a hope and hover. I love how it works. Watch this. Sometimes when I'm feeling a little down, I need to remember the hope Jesus gives us. The hope Jesus gives raises my spirits and makes me feel better. And sometimes another person might be feeling down, and I can tell that friend about the hope we have in Jesus. Then the hope Jesus gives can make my friend feel better. And other times, I can celebrate with my friend that we both have hope in Jesus. We can thank Jesus together for the hope he gives us, and it lifts us both up. Now it's your turn. Your fun hope and hover can remind you that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus! 
Don't touch the Hope and Hovers just yet. We'll assemble them together, okay? Let's lay out all of your supplies. You should have two white spheres, one blue plastic loop, and a cardboard flute. I've decorated my cardboard flute with markers. I also drew faces on my spheres to remind me of my friends. To assemble your Hope and Hover, first take the cardboard flute. Find the square-shaped hole on the flute. Grab your blue plastic loop and insert it into the square-shaped hole. Make sure that you align the loop so that the circles on the cardboard flute are coming through directly center. Then grab your spheres. Carefully balance them in the blue plastic loop and you're ready to experiment with your hope and hover. If you'd like for both of the spheres to rise together, hold the flute without covering up either of the holes. If you would like one sphere to rise, cover one of the holes with your finger. If you'd like the other to rise, cover the other hole. Sometimes we're up and sometimes we're down. The hope Jesus gives us can always lift us up and we can share the hope we have in Jesus with our friends and family members. Then they can be lifted by the hope of Jesus too. Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Now it's your turn to experiment with your hope and hover. Have fun. When it's time to come back, you'll hear the train whistle. Have fun. We've come to the end of our time at Imagination Station. Take your hope and hover and put all of the pieces inside a baggie. That way none of them get lost. If you have a Try This at Home sticker, it reminds you of the daily Bible point. Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. All right, we'll see you next time here at Imagination Station. <laughs>